everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about hooded eyes, specifically eyeliner for hooded eyes, and even more specifically, winged eyeliner for hooded eyes. And for those of you that aren't certain what hooded eyes look like, well basically it's when the fleshy part of the lid rests on the lash line. There's no defined crease. For those of us with hooded eyes, in order to access our crease, we need to sort of lift up the skin and get in there. Whereas people that don't have hooded lids can easily just take a brush, you can see their crease no problem, and go in and blend or do a really nice wing. But again, with hooded eyes, we've got extra skin. So it creates this fold on the outside that makes it difficult to do a smooth winged liner. Over the years, I've uploaded quite a few tutorials on how I prefer to do winged eyeliner on hooded eyes. And my preferred technique does create a more dramatic, thicker wing on the outer corners. And I know that look is not for everyone. And to be honest with you, this look is not going to be for everyone either. But I happened to see this technique that I'm going to be demonstrating in this video done by one of my absolute favorite makeup artists that I discovered on Instagram. Her name is Katie Jane Hughes. Her work is just so beautiful. She does bold, colorful editorial looks. She does natural looks. She is so beyond talented. And she does have hooded eyes herself. And she recently showed this graphic eyeliner technique that I thought made so much Sense. So the purpose of this video was for me to share, for those of you who might not have seen this technique ever done before, show you how I did it, let you see that my first attempts were not perfect. So if your first attempts are not perfect, do not feel bad because even myself as a makeup artist, I struggled a little bit. So without any further ado, let me show you how I achieved this really cool looking, I think, graphic winged liner, perfect for hooded eyes. So I begin by lining my upper lash lines as close to the root of the lashes as possible. And as you can see, I'm holding the skin taut at my temples as I create a slight wing going upwards towards the corner of my brow. And then I fill in the little gap that you see here. Now with my eyes open, I'm bringing the line back in towards my lash line. However, I'm keeping the line very small. I'm not bringing it all the way back to the lash line. So from this angle, it does look a bit strange, but when my eyes are open, it gives the illusion of one complete uninterrupted line. And now I'm going back in and making the lines a little bit thicker so that when I open my eyes again, you don't see any flesh coming through because my eyesight is very poor and I have to get right up close and personal with my magnifying mirror, I know my angles aren't the best. This was very difficult for me to film and to capture. So I'm going to show you again on my other eye just for hopefully a little bit more clarity. Once again, I'm just lining very close to the lashes with my liquid liner. Then I'm creating a slight wing. And with my eyes open, I bring the line slightly back in towards my lid and crease, creating the graphic shape. And then finally, I make the lines a little bit thicker and fill them in a bit so there's no skin coming through. And it creates the illusion of being one complete uninterrupted line when my eyes are open. And here's the finished look. As you can see, it's not perfect. I'm still practicing. It did take some getting used to. At first I was thinking, oh, I don't know about this. It looks like I don't know how to do my eyeliner. But honestly, it is pretty awesome. When your eyes are open, it looks perfect. It looks like perfect winged eyeliner. And then when you look down, you've got this graphic unique eyeliner look. And if this is a little bit too bold or out there for your taste, just use a little powder on top to soften it. And before I close this out, I wanna mention one more time that this technique does take practice. And if your eyes are 
extremely hooded and puffy. I can't tell you that this is going to be the answer to your prayers either. At a certain point, unfortunately, our eyes do become so hooded that just a soft, smudgy little powder liner and some good mascara is all we need to make our eyes look stunning. I just thought this was a very interesting technique that I had never seen done before. Perhaps it has been, but my first time seeing it was on Katie Jane Hughes' TikTok, and I know a lot of my viewers are not on TikTok, and I just wanted to share it and show my experience doing it because my eyes are a little bit more hooded than even Katie's are. So I hope you enjoyed watching this. Let me know if you try it. Let me know if it works for you. Let me know how many practices it took to get it right if you do have success with it. And if not, just keep practicing. I will put Katie's Instagram handle in the description box as well as her TikTok handle. Even as a makeup artist myself for more than 20 years, I have learned a lot from her. So definitely check her out. And if you're not already following me on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter, I have accounts on all those platforms as well. It's all Risa Does Makeup. And if you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please hit that subscribe button and join the Risa Does Makeup family. And finally, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you all so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in my next video.